Alright guys, and welcome to another one of my Fez videos. Uh, today, um, we're gonna be, you know, picking up where we left off as usual, and we're gonna explore this really rainy, creepy, scary area, and, uh, it looks like there's, like, something floating in the background there. Oh, it's so cool. So, it's invisible. Okay, so, um, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go around and I'm going to collect all the cubes in direct um, placement to me and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to okay let's wait till the flash of lightning so I have to go back this way maybe not yep okay so and then I'm going to um, go through any doors or portals that uh, will lead me to other areas oh damn I just killed myself so, um, let's collect all the cubes on this side and then make our way up from here. Uh, oh, what was that? Cool. So, we're gonna make our way up by waiting for the lightning. This is another new game mechanic that I, I just figured out randomly uh, while I've been with you guys. And so, um, we are going to see what Dot wants. What do you want, Dot? Nice! You found another warp gate. It now connects you to every other warp gate you've found so far. Pick a destination and press up to warp. So I'm assuming I got that because I finished an entire cube. I'm not sure. So let's uh, climb all the way to the top before we go through the bottom door. And I just killed myself. Move! Crow. I was gonna call it a scarecrow. Do you believe that? So you know what? I I like I like doing these videos for you guys, and I hope you guys like these videos. Um, I appreciate all the support uh, that I currently have, and hopefully I can build a great subscriber uh, base that will. Uh, Okay, I can tell where they are without the flash of lightning. That's cool. Um, uh, I really hope I get a subscriber base that grows uh, insanely. And uh, I really hope to uh, bring you guys really cool new content that you guys like to see. So uh, if you're already subscribed to me, uh, tune in and I'll have some cool stuff for you guys. Uh, if you know someone who would like the videos that I've got here or you know what you just want to share it with a, a couple of friends um, go ahead do that uh, spread the word uh, I really appreciate it so let's go through the first door at the bottom I think we're gonna go from bottom to top unless like usual it brings us to a separate area that's really random and really weird so let's do this um, okay so she wants my attention up here I always creep me out Really? That's all you had to tell me? That's not cool. Okay, so let's drop down. Okay, the music in this game right now is really creepy. Wow, I didn't notice that till now. Wow. Okay, so let's find the next door, which I think is on the second level of this little situation and no it's not but uh, like I said I can figure out where the actual platforms are because when the lightning doesn't flash you can see the rain drop off of them so that's a good tip for you guys um, if you want to figure out where they are without waiting for the lightning um, it's just wait until you see like the rain drops on them so uh, Let's climb here, and then climb here, and then climb here. And then we're gonna go over here where the next um, where the next door is. It's gonna bring us to that area back there, which is looks really like a castle, really creepy from here. Um, and so uh, over the past couple of videos I've been trying to improve my um, my commentary. Uh, you know what, I want to keep it fresh for you guys. Okay, there's an area back there. And, uh, I've been trying to figure out, I've been looking at other YouTubers for, you know, uh, seeing how they do their commentary, because, uh, 
currently, you know what? It's it's a work in progress kind of thing. You have to you have to work on it. Uh, and it's you know what? Truthfully, if you ever want to start it, um, if you ever want to start your own YouTube, don't be so hard on yourself. Take your time because starting a YouTube is is it can be difficult. But you know, with uh, time and effort, I didn't catch that. Wow, I'm stupid. Um, with time and effort, and uh, you know, a little bit of uh, a little bit of finesse, you can uh, actually make some really great videos that people will be able to want to watch all the time. And you know what? You know, just pace yourself in a se in a sense. Like, uh, don't take off. Don't like they say. Don't bite off more than you can chew. So um, maybe. Okay, that's there. What am I missing? I have not figured out yet. No, that's not it either. I can't get up there though. Okay, maybe we should go into the door below. Uh, which platform was it? Okay, there was a platform. Maybe it's this one. It's this one. So we're going to go through the store and all the way back there. So we can figure this out. Give me one second. Sorry about that, guys. I record from my laptop, and I just looked over to see like what my progress was and how long I've been talking, and I actually just realized that my um, computer was at 3% battery, so uh, that is not cool. Uh, so sorry about that, but uh, back to the game. So um, let's progress. Let's go up here. Maybe there's a door up here that will lead us to a door back in the other area. So there's one right here, there's one right here, there's one right here, and there's one right here. Okay, so let's progress up first, see what we can do up there, and then uh, we'll go on and, oh, that's so cool. Okay, so there's a door right there. Oh! I just got pwned. Let's wait for this. Okay, so that is, I'm assuming, a door that links us to the other side. Yes. Uh, the only reason I know is I've come across them a bunch of times before. And so we are going to collect that first one. You guys see that? That's really cool. Other than that, I keep dying, but that every time I jump while lightning hits or lightning strikes there's this sort of um, this sort of um, <clears throat> like line I don't know like a, almost like you're drawing a ghosting effect it's really cool I really like this ghosting effect it's really awesome so we're going to drop down and go through this door, and hopefully it brings us back to an area where we were before. Um, and I just answered my own question, that's a no. Uh, so... Oh! I hate when it zooms in so much. Because you've got to sort of figure things out uh, in such a tight, confined space, and you're used to jumping a specific way. And if you try that way here, you're gonna over you're gonna overshoot. So we've got our what is the 16 cubes already? Yep, we've got 16 cubes. Uh, technically, we've got what does it say there? Uh, plus two, so 18, 18 cubes. So let's go through this and then climb up, and we get 19 cubes. <clears throat> Seems like we're progressing quite fast, but I feel is that some areas we're going to have to revisit later. So this is our teleporter. We're going to teleport back to the first area, which is great, because... 
I really didn't want to go all the way back down and and back. So pretty screen. So it seems like sometimes you go backwards and and you come across areas where um Oh, what's that? Well, that's the door I went through before. So let's go back that way. Figure out what we can do here more. And then we'll, um... Essentially... Okay, I have an idea. But the problem is that needs to move. Because it seems like there is a way to get all the way across. And that involves jumping from pillar to pillar to pillar. Ah! I figured it out. I figured it out. I figured it out. Sometimes I don't look into things too well and I forget that there's a whole perspective aspect to this game and... It ends up screwing me over. Oh, nope. Don't do it that way. And don't do it that way either, because you'll end up dying. So there's a door up here, and there's also a chest. So let's hit the chest first, and then go through the door. Remember that the door is on our right perspective. So we've got another piece of the map, which I don't know if I've told you already, I still don't know how to decipher or how to even use them because they look so weird. <clears throat> so in this next video, uh, what am I talking about? I can't, in this next area, stupid me. Um, it's another one of those close perspective areas that I hate so much. Okay, so switch perspective back and get this piece. See that? That was cool, eh? That was really cool. Oh! Did I miss something? Nope. Looks like we can go back now. And actually, let's check our map and see if we've figured this area all out. If we haven't, then we'll go back to that other area back there. But I'm pretty sure we figured it out pretty much. And what's this? Uh, a locked door. So, do we have a key? How do, can you tell if we have a key or not? No, let's not do that. I didn't want to go back there. Okay, let's go back the way we came. Okay, let's drop down and not do it that way because I ended up dying. So, tip for you guys. He can not take a beating, so don't even attempt it. No! Two, three times the charm. Okay, I do have a key, that's crazy. I really don't know how to bring up the heads up display, so I don't know when I have keys and when I don't. Why are there so many doors? Let's go through this one. That's cool. I don't know what it does though. Maybe I have to figure out which door is the right door? Okay. Okay, this is a weird, weird room. But you know what? I'm not going to figure out this puzzle. Um, I don't have enough time. 
So I'm going to end off this video here, and we'll continue off in the next video. But if you like this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And um, make sure to check out all the previous Fez videos, my Borderlands Let's Plays, and uh, my uh, demo Let's Plays that I do uh, for my channel. Uh, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace out.